हरे दिसीज एडवेंचर राइडर पंडित फकीर योगी वीरेंद्र योगी आई विल फेस टू यू आई विल बी इन साइकिलिंग कस्ट्यूम साइकिल शॉर्ट्स आई डू साइकिलिंग आई डू मोटर साइकिलिंग एंड दैट इज माय वी एस ट्रोम पार्क इन द शेड इन द माउंटेन एरियाज सो आई विल टॉक अबाउट फिटनेस इज सिग्निफिकेंस एंड हाउ टू बी फिट Age will be just a number if you really pay attention to your physical conditioning and mental purification by noble and purity of thoughts. I will face to you, my friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Namaste. I am Pandit because I love all. I am Fakir because I am Buddha. God must it hurt us. I just believe your real might and strength is seeking the truth, knowing the truth, and transforming your life as per the rules of the universe. That is truth. Gravitation is truth. Love is truth. Kindness is truth. Compassion is truth. Sympathy and understanding is truth. In sense of justice is truth. So God must it hurt us. Buddha discovered truth. and that is based on purification of your mind that's why i am the master of patanjali yoga sutra i teach millions of people all over the world and that if you put in jelensky and biden learns they will cease fire instantly they will stop worry because they are short lived these fools do not know one day they are going to die but before they will die they are forcing everyone to be killed massacred murdered destroy every infrastructure in my vocabulary there are only three things whole earth is your family you have to think good of all you have to be good with all you have to find good in all never find fault with anyone and the third one atma sarvhute so develop the feelings for every living creature love them as your own sisters and brothers because we started from one cellular object living today we are having billions of so dear friends what i tell you we are the child we become youth we become old we become at the verge of death and we die there are different cycles but no worry these are not in our control this is the laws of the universe and nature but as long as we live we have to be self disciplined we have to do lot of physical lot of mental lot of spiritual and emotional balancing act So as I am 68, still I am. You can see or whatever. Watch me. This is my discipline life, right from childhood. I have been following yoga and naturopathy because I was born in a very poor family, and my uncle Mr. Ram Sudesh Chaudhary suggested me that there is only one panacea for all your sorrow, suffering, and grief and pain to study. So I started studying. As a poor man, I was lying on the ground and reading. so my stomach used to be upset most of the time so i picked up a book from his library and got one book yoga and naturopathy so at the age of 12 only i became a yogi following every fundamental principle of patanjali yoga sutra nyama who suggests you how you interact with others non violence truthfulness never stealing anything from anyone brahmacharya controlling your sexual urge never to ex be explosive because it is the most powerful emotion and then oparigraha don't accept anything free from anyone because that is really insulting yourself so ahinsa satya astya brahmacharya oparigraha then i also learned niyama how to deal with yourself your life very precious you must love yourself and then there i learned from patanjali yoga sutra point number 2 niyama what are the rules we have to follow in our own personal life and that is swachha santosha tapsha swadhyay swachha means purity of mind thought word and action be very pure and what is pure truth justice peace love and non violence kindness compassion honesty integrity humility generosity cooperation compassion all these beautiful ideas put in the mind and to remove all the dirts greed anger hatred jealousy and cynicism then comes santosha contentment you can have anything but if you are not contented you will never be happy in life 
So whatever by hard work you have earned, be happy with this. Real meaning of life is to be useful, productive, creative, compassionate. And you will be only honorable once you are contented. Otherwise you will like different varieties of women. You will like different varieties of cars, houses, unlimited wants and desires. You will be hankering after loves and fishes and life becomes miserable. So contentment. Earn and get whatever you want in your means. But beyond that you will be very contented. Don't be very crazy, dear friends. And then comes tapasa. Perseverance, persistence, going extra mile, very hard work. Committed, dedicated, passionate, engaged in a level of love. Disciplined mind, that is the real thing. Personal initiative, positive mental attitude. That is tapasa. Swadhyaya, personal initiative. Nobody will help you. You have to discover your own sanctuary. Nobody is going to help you. On my family, I have a daughter who wanted to make her the world best tennis champion, but they never believed in themselves. I started a club tennis ashram, but they went everywhere in the world and still they are moving here and there, you know. They have not succeeded because they never believed in themselves. Eklavya being the symbol of the spirit of the self-help. Self-reliance, self-belief, self-confidence, self-motivation, self-dedication, a strong willpower, a striving, seeking different ways and means to realize your dream. You, you alone can do yourself. Seek, you will find. Knock the door, the door will open. Ask from yourself, you will be fulfilling your dreams. I conclude this inspirational talk by a poem by Jesse Rittenhouse. The ways I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. However, I begged in the evening when I counted my scanty store. Life is just an implied, it gives you what you ask. But once you have set the ways, why you must bear the task, man? I work for a medial heart only to learn dismay. Whatever ways I could have asked of life, life would have willingly played because you are blessed with the power of mind. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve for you. But the condition is, you have to believe in yourself. The magic of believing will come with all the strength and might, all the motivation, all the pushing yourself. Hell will be the real secret of your success. Life's battle don't always go to the stronger, the fast man. For soon or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks, I can do it. Nobody else can work for you, man. Believe in yourself.